Okay, engineers, it's time for some engineering. Engineering is designing structures and solving problems. And that is what we are going to do. Okay, so you have a bunch of strips like this. They're in different kind of Valentine-y colors because these were intended to be for our Valentine Day party. But um, it was sad we didn't get to do that, but we turned it into something cool a different challenge, right? That was really fun. And then it kind of worked out because this way our new friends get to do it with us. And I honestly, I don't know if Mrs. Ketchum got to this or not with kids that came from Mrs. Ketchum's class. So if you already did this, I gave you more strips and you will be at an, at an advantage because you can use what you learned last time to make your design even better, which is what engineers do all the time. They adapt, they try something, they test it, they adapt it, and they make it better. So um, everybody gets a chance to do this. Now, it might be confusing because you also, in this week's pickup, got some red strips. They are stapled together, okay? The red strips are not for this project. So these red strips that have a staple, set those aside. That's not for this project. The ones that are all loose, that also include a few red ones. Those are the ones we're using, okay? And I will show you what the challenge is. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Okay, so your job is to use hearts to make either the tallest structure, the widest structure, a hanging structure, the most stable structure or an unexpected structure, okay? So you have to use just, just the papers. And oh my gosh, I lost my glue. Where did my, I just had my glue. Oh, haha. okay, here's my glue. So you all got a new glue stick, right? So glue and strips, that's it. Unless if you're doing something hanging, you are allowed to add some string, that's fine, okay? or yarn or whatever, but glue or strips. Also, if you have a stapler and you'd rather use a stapler, you're welcome to do that. But um, if not a stapler, glue and strips. And I'm gonna show you what you need to do. So you're gonna pick, am I gonna try to figure out the tallest structure? Am I gonna make the widest structure? Am I gonna make a hanging structure, the most stable? structure? So like if I put it on a table and shook the table, it would not fall, it would not fall apart or an unexpected structure. I don't know, maybe you turn these, the, your hearts into a house or into a, um, a horse sculpture or something. I don't know, it's unexpected, can't wait to see. So I wanna teach you how to make the hearts. Um, you take one strip, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna do pink. Okay, you take one strip and first you fold the ends together like that. You line the ends up and then you use your fingernail to really make a nice fold there. And then if you're using glue, you need to put some glue up at the top. And the trick to these hearts, okay, so you pull the V apart and you curl the ends in and then you have to pinch. That's the trick to these hearts. You have to pinch, pinch, pinch while the glue dries. Otherwise it just falls apart again, okay? So pinch, 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 pinch while the glue dries. And then once the glue is dried, you're good to go, okay? If you don't wanna pinch that whole time, you could put something heavy on it while you start your next one. But sometimes that creases the ends a little bit. And so instead of a rounded shape for your heart, you have a kind of a more foldy um, situation for your heart, but you end up with a heart like that, okay? And you can cut the strips in half if you want. If you wanna change your design a little bit, that's fine. Um, I used, I, I, I started my design. I'll show you what I did. So I did four hearts and I, glued them together and I was gonna make a wide base and then I was going to add onto the top and make a whole tower of hearts. And I was gonna try to make it really stable by having a nice wide base. But then once I glued those together, I realized that, hey, it would not be too hard for me 
to try to go as wide, whoops, as wide as I could, or I could try to go as tall as I can. So now I'm kind of going back and forth, like what do I wanna do for my design? As I started designing, I started changing my design a little bit, which is what good designers do and good engineers do and good creative minds, right? So your job is to use heart shapes for one of those challenges. And you can pick the one that, that excites you the most, okay? So let me show you again what that looks like. Okay, so you can go for, you can go for the tallest structure. You can see it's how tall you can go, how wide you can go. You can make a hanging structure, in which case, remember, you can add some, some yarn or string if you want to. Um, your most stable structure, which is what I was going for at first to have a really nice solid base um, or an unexpected structure. Could you see how you could turn this into, um, into a horse? I don't know. Or into a house? Could you make walls, heart walls and a door? Oh, that would be cute, right? Turn one of the hearts into a door or into windows. I don't know. Okay, you can use all of these strips, all right? And your glue. And if you want to use a stapler and you have that at your um, where you're working, you're welcome to do that. Okay, I cannot wait to see what you do. And I want you to share your video in Flipgrid so we can all see, okay? I'm very excited for this challenge, heart challenge. Ha ha! Okay, go engineers. Bye. -bye.